dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, uh, you started. Uh -oh. Shut, Shut up, up and sit down. down. And welcome back to another hump day happy hour, or in this case, we have a witchy Wednesday with our good friend Julia. So what do we have for today? Today we have a Witches Cosmo designed and corresponded to help you relax after a long day, cleanse, balance, and renew. Or in this case, when you need to unwind because the kids have been at home with no school. Yes. Okay, so lots of alcohol. Lots of alcohol. <laughs> today we have the Witches Cosmo. Um, traditional Cosmo is cranberry, vodka, lime, orange liqueur, uh, Cointreau triple sec or some one of those. Yeah. Uh, what makes yours witchy? So mine, I decided to remove a little bit of the orange liqueur and put a little bit of a syrup that has rosemary and saffron in it. It adds a nice kind of witchy, balancing, herbaceous Very herbal. Very flavor. Herbal, yeah. Yes. One thing about Cointreau or Triple Sec, or any of the orange liqueurs, they're very sweet. And a traditional Cosmo, a real Cosmo, is not really sweet. It's balanced. The problem is too often people get these uh, sweet Cosmos and it's like loaded with sugar or they use some shitty cranberry. Yeah, you know, it really depends. Honestly, I've never made a sweet Cosmo in my life because if people order a Cosmopolitan, they do not want it to be sweet. And honestly, cranberry juice is very bitter plus the lime juice. So yeah, yeah. Um, if it's if it's too sweet, it's a matter of flavor preference, but um, it wouldn't be a natural state for a Cosmo in the end. Three. So what is going into your Cosmo? Absolutely essential for a Cosmo, vodka. That's how we're getting drunk. Then we need some freshly squeezed lime juice. You're gonna have your rosemary saffron syrup, one to one ratio of sugar to water, pinch of um, saffron, and a little bit of rosemary. And then we have our orange liqueur. In this case, I'm using Contro, And then some cranberry juice. So what tools will be needed for today? Primary tool, your shaker. Um, whatever you're gonna shake with, I'm using a Boston shaker. Something with which to measure your alcohol. I am using a jigger. You are going to need a hawthorn and fine mesh strainer, as well as a martini or coupe glass or something in between. So we got over our ingredients, we got over our tools, so now it's time for you to do your magic. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some ice to help chill our glass. We're going to go and just give that a little stir just to get a little bit of that chill started. Then you're going to take the bottom half of your shaker and go ahead and measure out an ounce and a half of vodka. I'm going to do three fourths of an ounce of cranberry juice. We're going to do a half ounce of freshly squeezed lime. One fourth of our magical rosemary saffron syrup. It's going to give us that nice balancing, cleansing energy we want. It's got a lovely color. Yes. And then our lovely orange liqueur. If you want, you can throw in a ro uh, rosemary sprig. I'm just going to do that for fun. Why not throw in some more rosemary flavor? And then you're going to add ice. Go ahead and add your ice. Go ahead and pour this into the other half of your shaker. Slam it shut. Pause. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and slap that shut and shake it. And you can see that it's nice and chilled by the condensation on our shaker. Take the side of your hand, slap it. That's what she said. And next thing you're gonna do, we're gonna prepare our glass. So go ahead and give it a little whirl just to get a nice chill. And throw that shit out. Take your hawthorn strainer on the top there, your fine mesh strainer, and... Okay, has a lovely color. What's next? Next is our garnish. This is going to add a nice aromatic finish. So you're gonna go ahead and take a peel of lime here. We don't want the citrus juice, we just want the peel and the pith. <laughs> I got too nervous. Okay, 
nervous, you guys. Performance anxiety. We need that one more time. <laughs> so we're gonna go and take our lime as our garnish and add a nice aromatic finish here. Go ahead and get, oh, I did it again. <laughs> this, this has no skin. You see this? Yeah. It did it though, look, okay. But it still did it. Yeah. This is so thin. Yeah. This lime. There's no skin. This lime is shit. <laughs> to finish off the cocktail, we're gonna use a nice lime peel to garnish. So you're gonna go and take your peeler, peel off a little bit of that lime, squeeze the peel. This is shit. This is just, there's nothing. So to finish off, we're going to take a peel of citrus. You can usually do lime. Lime is the traditional. However, I want to bring out more of the orange aspects of the orange liqueur. So I'm going to go with an orange peel. You're going to take your knife and we're going to cut a nice little bit of the peel and pith off that orange. You're going to take it above your cocktail. We're going to express it. So expressing means you squeeze. Ooh, that was beautiful. All of the juices come out. And then you're going to go ahead and just rim the drink with that. What that does is it means when you put your lips on the glass, it is going to add um, a nice orange aroma. It's going to be the first thing you experience. That's the Prost. It's like Cosmo. It tastes like a really good Cosmo. Does it? Yep. Oh, okay. It's a good Cosmo. <laughs> Saffron comes through a little bit. It's a little herby. Um, the rosemary definitely. It's not so much that you taste the rosemary as much as you just taste like herbalness. Yeah, brightening. Um, yeah, very bright, fresh um, this flavor is like, from the rosemary. I would chill out with this on a summer evening with the breeze, cool down from the heat. It's just so refreshing and bright. And thank you, Julia, for coming out and making our hump day happy hour a witchy one. And your book, again, is coming out on September 8th. Mm -hmm. September 8th. You can pre-order it now. You should search for The Witchcraft Cocktail. Yes. Let's put all yet. Shut up and sit down. <laughs>